President Joe Biden left Washington for the weekend with congressional votes on his infrastructure package and spending bill hanging in the balance. CBS 2's Michael George reports on some temporary progress today. Without objection, so ordered. The Senate extended the Surface Transportation Act for another month by unanimous consent. The rare Saturday session lasted less than four minutes. The extension heads to President Biden for his signature, allowing funding for certain highway and transit programs to flow again, and 3,700 Department of Transportation employees who were furloughed Thursday to return to work. But the debate over a trillion dollar infrastructure bill and a bigger spending plan continues, with Democrats unable to get a deal. There is no reason why both these bills couldn't pass independently, except that they're not the votes to do it that way. It's a simple proposition. And so I think it makes sense. I support both of them, and I think we can get them both done. President Biden spoke before taking off for Wilmington, Delaware, where he'll spend the weekend. Late Friday, the president visited Capitol Hill to try to bring progressives and moderates in his party together, who remain split on the cost of the bill. There is a little bit of a distrust uh, among the progressives and the moderates, and we're trying to, fi we're trying to figure out a, a process. How do we get there? How do we land this plane? Senate Republican leader Mitch McConnell issued a statement that says Democratic leaders are letting the radical left run Capitol Hill. He's upset the House has twice delayed a vote on the infrastructure bill after the Senate passed the measure in August. Michael George, CBS News.